Hey guys, Two-Face here, and welcome back to the Community Showcase, the show where we take popular map makers from the game Zapekist and ask them to show us their favorite of their own maps. On this episode, we have Mackie. Mackie is known for making some pretty complicated tracks as far as skill goes, and is also known for putting down some nasty, nasty times for the author times on those tracks. Now, I will say that Mackie's decorating is a little bit more simple, but I mean, hey, that's my decorating style too, and I still think it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Hey there, Mackie. How you doing? Hello. I'm doing all right. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Just hanging out, vibing, chilling. Yeah. You know the deal. Same thing yeah. I say every video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate your support, my guy. Um. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Well, uh, I would actually just like to stop for a second here and just immediately shout this out because I felt bad that I didn't shout it out earlier in the last video. But um, Mackie is someone who's been a good part of the Zapekiss community for a while, and he actually does have his own YouTube channel, which I will provide a link for down in the description as well. So if you like Mackie in this video, go be sure to check him out. He does some really good race and stuff over there. And uh, if you want to learn lines, that's the place to go. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely, my guy. I mean, that's that's all I ever hear when I'm like hanging out with Ronan and stuff is like, oh yeah, I check Mackie or Warkans' YouTube to like go learn the lines. And so I have it here, so I figured I might as well, uh, you know, give you a little shout out. Yeah, I mean, that was the main reason I kind of started because uh, when I appeared in YouTube lobbies, people started uh, giving comments that I should make like videos of my runs and then one day I just started. <laughs> it's really funny because like for those of you who aren't like heavily involved in the Zapekiss community for like as much as we are, um, for a long time Mackie uh, would absolutely annihilate in, in online lobbies because he's such a good racer and then uh, he would retort with, I'm just a builder. And, no. and we just all be so frustrated because he's just such a good racer. But nope, I'm just a builder. Oh well, yeah, that 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 stick to me, I guess. Uh, yep, yeah, just a builder, Mackie. It's still a meme to this day. Yeah, <laughs> everything sticks over here. Um, so Mackie, do you have any games that you've played that uh either involve map making or racing that made you want to get involved with Zapekist or spur your map making in the game? Yes, I did, and it's actually very similar to Corn Shots. I do play or played a lot of uh, management games like uh, Planet Coaster, City Skylines, uh, even oh. Sims for, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, I don't have any experience with The Sims, but like I, I do, I do own Planet Coaster. I haven't played it too much. I haven't been able to figure it out, to be honest, but um, a lot of the yeah. the guys on here have said like satisfactory and stuff like that too, and I'm, yeah, yeah. I I like... I... Go ahead. That is one I not tried yet. But no, it's pretty I'm, addicting. I, may... I didn't yeah, think I'm, I was I gonna that. like it, and then I started playing it, and then I liked it, and it was bad. <laughs> not not bad in the sense of it was a bad game, just bad in the sense of that's all my focus was on anymore. Yeah. My go-to game was Planet Coaster for sure. And I would still like to play it, but uh, that game has some issues with uh, performance. Mm. Or my PC has problems, I don't know. One of the two, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's either one or the other, for sure. Um, how I did, did you... I did play, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, how did... did you find out about Zapekist? Uh, I found it through a Dapper video one day, just randomly popping up. Oh, yeah, I that... did play uh, Track Mania before as well, so I guess that could have helped uh, in my recommendations. I definitely feel like that helped inspire like some of your building style as well. It's kind of oh, apparent yeah. that it came from like the, a Track Mania this is, type flow. This is a map that uh, was inspired through Track Mania, I guess. That's I mean, that's what everyone was saying about it when it came out. I just didn't know if that was true or not. I had heard the rumors. <laughs> <laughs> But now I know from the person who made it, so thank you. <laughs> I didn't play that much Trackmania, how people may think. I think I have like maybe 100 hours in total okay. in the newer games. But uh, yeah, I do have a little experience with it. I... 
I don't feel sometimes like it doesn't take much from a game for you to like be like, oh, okay, I like this aspect of it, and then import yeah. it elsewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, when I started Zipcast, I wasn't into racing games like at all. Yeah. I was in more of a more of a management type games, but then I just saw this and I'm like, yeah, I could give it a try, and then here we are. Yeah, I definitely feel like the map making experience is what kind of made me want to get this game in the first place. Um. I was a Minecraft guy for a really long time, um, and I did a lot of redstone stuff, but like, uh, this seemed oh, yeah. kind of like mechanically similar, I guess, in a way where you're like making people, I don't know. I guess it's not really yeah. similar at all. It's just <laughs> kind of scratches the same creative itch, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any map makers that you like or who've inspired you to make like tracks? I mean, there's too much map makers I like. I I can't possibly uh, give a list, but single anyone out. For yeah. for for inspiration, my very first few tracks was definitely inspired by uh, Richie. Okay. He, yeah. I think many many share the this opinion. Oh, definitely. My pre my precision uh, series that I made five tracks was. Also inspired by Richie's uh, Flux track, I think oh. you know that. Yeah. And uh, that's when I kind of started being recognized as a good map maker. That's actually kind of interesting because when I play your pre precision tracks, I think, "Wow, these look an awful lot like Flux." And now that you say that, <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't want to like imply that you were like you know like copying it or anything because like sometimes things just happen at the same time but if you took a very inspiration from richie that's really cool because it it feels like almost like sequels to richie's track almost but like not in a bad yeah. way and i know richie has a lot of tracks that are track mania based also so it's just this last section here i always got to feel like i focus up a little bit on just to get a time in at least 44 is not terrible <laughs> Don't hit the party. Right. You go too low there, you hit the pooper. <laughs> I just did. Oh no. <laughs> did it just fart at you? It did. It oh, threw no. me aside. Sad, sad day. Yeah, so this track, for example, was definitely an inspiration from Horse. Uh, this track style, like full speed, transitional, was not very popular when I made this. Uh, I think one or two transitions you can see is pretty similar to Desert Scourge. Yeah, like the same kind of flow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely, yeah, it definitely feels like a very similar vibe. Uh, I caught onto that like pretty early this came out like a month after desert scourge did, didn't it yeah around that it was late late 2022 what? like late december um a lot of people always complain that you uh put down like really nasty author times what's up with that <laughs> a lot of people think that i grind for all of my author times which in a few tracks is true there's pipeline which still only has one person who beat it but uh, i'd say most of my author times when i set after actually completing the decoration and lines and whatnot takes me like 15 to 20 minutes is pipeline the one that uh, zoman's been grinding non-stop oh yeah I, <laughs> and he he asks Streamers to play it constantly so it can show off. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely seen that on Ronin's stream. Yeah. Do you have so, any... Go ahead. So, when I do the authors, I mostly just learn the lines as I go through the track every time I make changes. I think a lot of beatlers can relate to that. Uh, that's how I do it, dude. That is yeah. exactly how I do it. Because when my maps come out, people are like oh man i can't finish this and they're like how are you finishing i'm like because i've sat here and practiced this map over and <laughs> yeah. over making it yeah i definitely identify with that i do don't think building does make you somewhat faster overall 
I I feel that way at least in 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 a different way than you would expect, um, because it can build your skills in ways that you aren't given the opportunity to to learn in a, a public lobby. Yeah. So when I'm so when one of my tricks comes up in a lobby and they see my times, it's, it's usually just because of practicing editor, not because I'm just whatever. Yeah, exactly. Do you have any um, map making tips or tricks to give anyone that may be looking into getting into map making? Ooh, I, I def. I definitely recommend using, uh, if you want to make some maps that are liked in lobbies and played often, I definitely recommend using mods for those tracks because it just helps so much with the uh, actual building. I would agree with that. Blueprints Plus is definitely the the main go-to. Blueprints and object properties are definitely uh, number one on my list. Also, if you're trying to make something flowy, the one that tracks your trails. Yeah, that one helps I don't use that that much of that much anymore. I used to, especially for the full speed ones. But yeah, that all almost all of the editor mods are beneficial. I I agree. I think I have honestly like every single mod installed uh, that's on Modcast right now. Oh, and, <laughs> and then some. Like, because I, I have GTR too. I don't I don't have it up right now because it messes with. It, it yeah, makes my recordings yeah. look bad, but... <laughs> yeah, it can get annoying. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Oh, man. This track you made after the ZSL track... Or not ZSL, sorry. Uh, the Cup of the Day track Cup you made, right? Day. Yes, that is true. The very risky finish Cup of the Day. Yeah, the one if everyone you haven't uh, seen yet. DNF'd. <laughs> If you haven't seen yet from Sandals, definitely go check it out. Oh yeah. Because everyone thinks it's super hard. It's not an oh. easy track to get a good time on, is what I'll say. It's not a hard track. It's just when you're in a competition and you're yeah. just trying <laughs> to put down times that are going to keep you safe, you tend to do things that are a little more risky sometimes. And in Cup of the Day, that doesn't always work when there's eliminations. Yeah, with the time limit, especially. When I built this one, I, I, re I really like the custom bent roads uh, when I made the couple of the day track. So I just kind of made this as a sequel. More bent roads, turns. It just makes it feel a little more unique. Like the, the half pipes or the... Or are you talking like the um like the the blue section and the finish section you know the yeah when you, you rotate like, the like, like yeah. this part we're on right now when it's like yeah. just a little off kilter yeah I've, I've definitely seen a lot more tracks like that as of late and i'm i'm enjoying the style of them i've seen uh jackster bro has a few maps like this as well where it's like it is very satisfying and very annoying to build <laughs> because you have to go like zero grid your rotation to line up uh, tracks com uh, correctly oh yeah there's another um there's another mod that came out recently i think it's called like I, vertex, the vertex snapping yeah have you tried yes. that at all N i have not yet because i have not yet checked mod case enough in a, quite a bit lex was just talking to me about how that makes really um like tubes really easy to work with and he said that it saved him like a ton of time and he was able to make a track concept that he had in like a few minutes rather than like an hour or two. Oh no, I definitely have to check it out then. I tried playing with it a little bit. I gotta say I didn't understand it too well. I want to go back in and mess with it a little bit more. But it, it looks like it could be useful if you get used to it. You know, just looks like it takes some time. Yeah, I've been wanting to try it, but I just never got to it yet. Uh, mostly because of new versions, mods breaking, it happens. Yeah. I understand that the control Z update broke oh, a lot of the mods. Yeah. There we go. You always come out of that section I just went through like flying ahead of me because we started at the same time a few times. And I was wondering how you were maintaining more speed through there, but I think I got a little bit more speed. I don't know if it's going to help me out in my final time very much, but we'll see. Oh, which section? 
uh, the half pipe section. Oh yeah, uh, that is just staying almost there on, we go. perfectly on the wall. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, not too bad. Just, just, just don't look at my altar, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like a really big. Um, it's almost like a vaporwave track. I mean, kind of is the theme, yeah. Seam flow. Wait, 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 what's what's the thing? Vaporwave, seam wave, almost the same. Right. I'm just free cam following you right now, watching you take these lines. I'm not improving. <laughs> oh, that's I just fine. spun oh. out somehow. <laughs> <laughs> we there he goes. I have fallen. Oh, I didn't notice all these little like you took the track borders and you painted them and then you like made them go all which ways. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I like that. I might steal that. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind really. All right. I well, do I do like when people take inspiration from that, my tricks. That's awesome. Well, thanks for racing with me today, dude. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I would love to. All right. Have a good one. Bye. See ya. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said before, the information from Aki's channel will be in the description below. If you guys have any questions that you would want to ask the map makers that I have on this show, or you have any suggestions for map makers to have on the show, please let me know down in the comments below. Now. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. I think by the time I release this video, I'll be somewhere around 900. If you guys are watching this content and you're enjoying what I'm doing, please, please, please. It would mean so much to me if you could throw me a subscription. That would be great. Thanks. And I hope you guys have a good one.